Hi everybody, this is Josh with Resort TV One. This time, we're doing a full tour of Tomorrowland in 4K. We hope you enjoy it. This is one of my favorite views across the water towards Cosmic Rays Cafe. And as you can see, they've recently painted the rocks a bluish color, and they were more of a reddish orange color before. But I think it's actually a nice touch. You can see the sea serpent is still there on the banks of the waterway. And looking out under the hub, everything looks nice. And the Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant is still a great place to watch the fireworks, but you have to have reservations and pay a little extra to do it now. And there are blue rocks on the other side of the bridge as well. And you can see the people mover. When Tomorrowland first opened, these rocks were actually gigantic monolithic concrete structures with fountains coming out of them and it was kind of a neat idea but when they changed Tomorrowland they added the rock work. Tomorrowland was changed to this future that never was theme back in about 1994 and actually I like the change because before it was beginning to look a little bit dated so now it's a really nice look. And this is of course a daytime tour um, but if you look at my other live stream video you can see Tomorrowland at night and all these uh, areas light up with neon lights and it's really really nice to look at but it's also pretty during the day and there's a lot of details that are easy to miss all the different colors in the metal work really add to the future that never was effect that they're trying to achieve and of course this entryway here is flanked by the people mover on both sides the People Mover being one of my favorite rides in all of Disney World because it's so relaxing and gives such a great view of Tomorrowland. And of course, here's the uh, Fast Class Plus kiosk. But if you got the My Disney Experience app, you don't have to worry about that too much. And then uh, Stitch's Great Escape. I have to admit that I still miss Alien Encounter, but Stitch's Great Escape is okay as well. And now across the street here is Monsters Incorporated Laugh Floor, which is a lot of fun as well, even though I do miss the Timekeeper attraction that used to be here. And by the way, where Stitch's Great Escape and Alien Encounter used to be there was the mission to Mars, um, and where the Monsters Incorporated Laugh Floor used to be was Timekeeper, and then before that, I believe, American Journeys. And here's the Astral Orbiter, which offers a great view of Tomorrowland. And the lunching pad restaurant has some snack items as well as beverages that you can try. And as we look over here towards Buzz Lightyear, we can see the main entrance. And it's usually a crowded attraction. It's a lot of fun. Actually, the Disneyland version is a little bit easier to play because the gun is able to move outside of the holster and it doesn't just pivot. And there you can see a little bit more of the queue for Buzz Lightyear. I've always enjoyed this little shop here with the aliens from Toy Story above it. Those characters for some reason are some of my favorites. I just think they're really neat. And here we have the entrance to the People Mover. And I've noticed the speed ramps that go up and down here are not actually working at this time for some reason. At least the up version wasn't working when we tried it today. So not sure if that's something that'll be fixed soon or if that's something that's been going on for a while. But anyway, uh, this area was also repainted with an orange paint scheme when it was, I believe, blue in the past. There you can see the Astro Orbiter and the elevator as well. And now as we look towards the Carousel of Progress, we'll see that there's actually a new paint scheme on this that was done here in the last year or so. And it's really nice and it actually complements the new paint colors that I pointed out across the way on People Mover. It's a brighter color scheme and it does fit really well with the future that never was theme that is uh, happening here in Tomorrowland. And you can see the People Mover going by there on the upper balcony of the Carousel of Progress. And the Carousel, one of Walt's original ideas at the 1964 World's Fair, 
is a great attraction and actually uh, is not even existing anymore at Disneyland. I believe somebody said that's Star Wars Launch Bay now at Disneyland. They completely took out the Carousel of Progress there. So I'm really glad that we still have it here at Disney World. And the Tomorrowland stage here, or the dance party or whatever you want to call it, is actually under refurbishment. And I'm not sure exactly what they're doing with it, but I've heard they're going to keep it a dance party. I don't know exactly what they're changing. They may just be refurbishing and maybe making it bigger, maybe adding some different effects. I'm not sure. And there's Space Mountain behind the People Mover. As well as the new Joffrey's Coffee Stand here. And as we walk over towards Space Mountain, you can also see the palm trees there that fold at different times of the day, as well as now the entrance to Space Mountain. You can see the Fast Pass area is of course gone now that Fast Pass Plus is in operation. And the bathroom area that used to be the Skyway to Fantasyland, they actually removed the second story of that several years ago. And the Tomorrowland Light and Power Company, which now houses an arcade and is the exit to Space Mountain. And the exit to the People Mover from Space Mountain. Here we see those palm trees again that I was talking about earlier. They do close at different times of the day. Here's a good view of the Astro Orbiter from the other side in the castle. And tomorrow we'll land Speedway. Which actually there's a rumor that this is going to be replaced in favor of the Tron Light Cycles coaster that is at Shanghai Disneyland. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it would be kind of neat actually. we look over here towards the Merchant of Venus, we'll see actually one of the exits to Stitch's Great Escape. And actually the restroom sign for some reason got a lot bigger. I don't know that that's a big deal, but I just thought it was interesting. Here's the uh, Disney Vacation Club kiosk. a lot of fun for kids. Nobody's messing with it right now. It takes several people to turn it around here in the water. And the people move tracks are even very well themed here in this section of Tomorrowland. So Mickey Star Traders. Looking over to this concourse to Fantasyland that includes the uh, entrance to the Tomorrowland Speedway, as well as Cosmic Race Cafe on the left. The Speedway used to be called the Indy Speedway, but I believe they changed it to the Tomorrowland Speedway when they rethemed the area. Even the trees look futuristic. Cosmic Ray is one of the great restaurants in Magic Kingdom. Of course, you can watch Sunny Eclipse there. And it's actually under refurbishment at this time. I think it's just the exterior that's being refurbished because the rest of the restaurant is 100% open for business. That's it from Tomorrowland, everyone. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye